Okay, now we're going to sequence this on a call for defrost. Now we're assuming at this point we have power to G to run the indoor fan. We also have power to Y, which <clears throat> energizes the contactor. Okay, compressor is running. The defrost can only come on if the defrost thermostat is closed. Now this is a thermostat that is mounted on a uh, uh, outdoor coil line and it has to be below usually either 32 degrees or 26 degrees. So if it's closed and the timer motor is closed. Now the timer motor is going to close once every hour for 10 minutes. Okay, we're assuming both of those things have happened. And this is how these defrosts work. They're usually, this, this is an old style defrost, but uh, the defrost thermostat and the timer motor both have to be closed. Okay, at that point, DR is energized. That's defrost relay. Timer motor is still running. DR2 opens. That shuts off the outdoor fan uh, so we can concentrate the heat in the outdoors and the outdoor fan or in the outdoor coil. Okay, down in the low voltage, we have two things that have happened. One, we have a connection between Y and going through a closed DR1 which is one of the contacts on the defrost relay, to O, which energizes the reversing valve. Now this is going to put it in cooling, so the outdoor coil is now a condenser. And that's why we're going to get heat out there. We're going to melt the ice off the coil. In addition, also through Y, DR3 contacts are closed and are energizing HR1, which is a heat relay one. Now that turns on backup heat to temper the air coming into the structure. Because we are now in cooling, so it's going to start blowing cold air out the ducts. So we add a little bit of uh, heat, either if it's strip heat, we'll just add a strip of heat or if it's, say, a gas furnace, it just turns a gas furnace on. Okay, now your defrost is energized. Your outdoor coil is thawing. Okay, this timer motor is going to be on for 10 minutes. When 10 minutes is up, or when the defrost thermostat opens, because remember, this is mounted in the outdoor coil, and we're warming up the outdoor coil now that it's in air conditioning. So either of these could open and take it out of defrost. Both must be closed for it to go into defrost. Either one can be open for it to go out of defrost. So we'll let's sequence this on a defrost thermostat opening. The defrost thermostat opens. Uh, power can no longer pass through to energize DR1 or DR, excuse me. So the unit goes out of defrost. Timer motor continues to run. Uh, TM1 opens after 10 minutes, but it won't make any changes. Okay, that's an energize for defrost.